Okay, so I love Microsoft Loop. I think it's a cool piece of technology that enables you to take content from one particular location and have it embedded in other locations, such as Outlook or Teams or just via the web. And recently I was using Loop to capture a table of information about specific programs. And as part of that information, I wanted to capture labels about where I would have those programs being applied. Now, of course, when you think about programs across a multiple uh, geography based area, you might have a single program applied to different markets. So for each market, I wanted a label and I wanted to put those labels against the programs. But as it turns out, you can't. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I have a table, right? And I've got a column here called program name and regions to execute. So I've got a customer success program, partner success program, program success program, nothing really revolutionary here. For regions to execute, rather than type in the regions themselves, what I do want to do is have the ability to select those regions. So I'm going to change this from a text type to a label type. And I'm going to add a label group. We'll call this regions. And we'll put in here A and Z. We'll put in here ASEAN. Uh, let's have a look. Greater China. And India. And let's add one more. Korea, for example. Right? So we've got our labels in there. Now, Let's say this customer success program, I wanted to have this in both ANZ and India. Well, what I can do here is select ANZ and then I want India. But you'll notice the actual challenge here is that it doesn't let you have both of those tags. It only lets you have one tag in the system. And I was looking for content to help me try and understand how to make multiple tags inside the one cell. Somebody said, well, you can actually click and hold control and get multiple, but I didn't see that working either. So there's another way you can potentially do this. Uh, and once you've actually got those categories set up, you can do this same approach. So what I'm going to do is add another column. I'm going to keep it as text. And what I can do here is choose label inside the actual text column and go down and choose my labels. So I can choose A and Z, and then I can add another one, label, and I can add then India. So at least now what I'm able to do, and I can delete this column out because this isn't really gonna help me. I can now say regions for program, I can now have multiple labels inside one particular cell. Greater China, and let's say here, oops, label and Korea. So that in itself is a way to be able to capture multiple labels inside a single cell because I didn't see that as a feature that was supported. Now, of course, you do lose some of the capabilities that Loop actually has. When you have a label column, you get a totals at the bottom of that column to indicate how many times certain labels have been chosen. But if you're looking for some aspect of standardization of what you want to put in there, so I can keep saying, ANZ, ANZ, or Korea, 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 and have that consistent. And if I actually make any changes to this, this is kind of cool. If I were to go through here and make any changes to these particular labels, I can do that in one spot. So if we add another column, we're going to go back to changing our column type to label, and we'll go with regions again. Uh, if I want to make a change, I have to do it this way. I'll go through here and I'll edit Korea and I'll turn that into South Korea. And we should see the regions here actually change with this change. So if I go enter, you can actually see South Korea change as well. So a bit clunky, you have to maintain a separate column to add the actual 
uh, labels. But once you've got that, you can have multiple labels within a single cell. And that's the one thing I've seen a lot of people struggling with. So I hope this was helpful. Hope this actually gets you to be able to use uh, Loop a little bit more productively. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.